This is your moment to maximize. Maximize moments with Milton. Audio experience. I am not a people person. <laughs> you will never hear me say, not now, not ever. <laughs> Hey, Maximizers, thanks for joining me today. This is Milton at MiltonHerring.com. I appreciate your attention each and every time I share on these podcasts or videos, any episodes that I put out, any content. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your time, attention, for your love and your encouragement as well. Today, I want to talk about four simple ways to connect with other people. Hey, I hope you like people because I do like people. Why? Because the fascination that I have in you, the fascination I have with other people's stories. See, I'm a context man and I, I feed off of context, whether it's I'm dealing with a business project or, or at work or with my clients or with people that I'm in conversation with. Tell me your story. Give me the background of it so I can connect the dots in my own mind and learn more about you. But I'm going to share these four simple ways that you can literally connect with other people. Before I get into my four simple ways, I really want you to hear me on this. Please listen to me. Everything we do in relation to other people, allow it to start with a genuine heart. Truly care about other people. All right, repeat that after me. Care about other people. Be genuinely caring about other people before you do anything else. And don't use people as an object. Please don't use them as an object. They're not. They're people. They're unique. They're God's gift. DNA, you. Yes, you. You're unique. You have greatness, potential, purpose. You are awesome. You're an awesome, awesome person, man or woman. And thank you, woman, man, boy, child, whatever. You are awesome, whoever's listening to this. And if you're a cat, your cat's awesome too because I love cats. Anyways, I digress. Four simple ways to connect with people. Number one, Start with a smile. Start with a smile. I hope you can hear me smiling, guys, because I am smiling. You got to start with a smile. Start with a smile. It's the greatest facial improvement you can ever make in your life. And it's the one thing that people generally universally respond to when you come with a smile. Now, how they react to your smile after you smile, it's up to them. That's their own thought, their own perceptions, the only things they're going through. Because people will read into a smile left and right. Oh, he's trying to do something like this. But that's not your, you don't have to, that's not for you to worry about. You give them what you believe, and that's a smile because you care about them. You care about people, right? So number one, start with a smile. Number two, find something to either compliment them on or ask a question about. How does that look or sound? Like this. You're a jazz fan. I live in Utah. You're a Lakers fan. Oh, you follow the Broncos, 49ers. Don't boo me if you're not any of those fans. But these are just examples because I'm a 49er fan. I'm Samson Diehard's 49er fan. This, that's who I am not, from way back. Ask him something. Compliment them. Oh, I love your, your hat today. I love the way your hair is. Did you color it? It looks great on you. Did you, did you shorten it? Since my wife is a stylist, it's very easy for me to notice these things when, when women do their hair, they color their hair, or something changes about their, their look. But I failed recently. And if you're watching this, I failed. She had, she had got an eye, LASIK eye surgery, and I failed to notice that she wasn't wearing glasses, but I knew something was different about her face. Um, so forgive me, Anna. But anyways, um, find something to compliment them on or ask them a question, whether they got a shirt on, a hat on, um, or you're in a, in a situation of meeting. <laughs> hey, I'm new here. How about you? Are you new here? New here? Yes, I am too. Start the connection. Now, the, the, the next thing you do out of those connections, this is not the third point. I'm still on number two when you're connecting, asking questions is you have to get to a level three of asking and answering questions in order to begin that big connection process of relationships. So, so if I ask you, um, all right, have you been here before? That's question one. You respond back. That's the, you're going to the next level. Second question is, Hey, 
you, you look familiar or, hey, do you have a family member that lives around here or um, what do you do for fun? Those are, these, are, these are building blocks of questions. You can find them. I'd like to ask about their family, their, their occupation or their recreation. Those three things are pretty simple standards you can ask people about and get them to start talking if you're truly trying to connect with someone. But don't make it awkward. Don't, don't make it awkward. <laughs> but anyways, um, so those are the ways you connect. So ask questions or compliment them. Here's number three. Tip number three is this. Leave them with either encouragement or kindness. Truly don't just say, you know, and I fall, I'm a, I fall into this trap all the time. Well, have a great day as a default for me. Instead of really being thoughtful about the communication we just had, the conversation we just had, and leaving them with encouragement or kindness. Sometimes that goes hand in hand, but you know what I mean. Leave them with something that's a period on the end of that, or actually a comma, semicolon, semicolon, comma. Because you want a comma. You want to continue the conversation. You want to bring it back up. Either there you tell can tell they're down, or you can tell they were nervous, or you can tell they're new, and you leave them with some encouragement or kindness. And so when you see them again, you can pick that back up. Here's number four. Tip number four is this. Remember their name. Remember their name. Can I tell you how important it is to remember someone's name? Not only for you, but also for the other person. When you can remember a name, and I'm not perfect this. This is just some experiences that I've had. And when I've done great at it, oh, it, it pays off dividends hugely when you know someone's and remember someone's name. Now, there's some tips and tricks. You can Google this, how to remember names. And, and one thing that I like to do to remember name is, number one, say their name at least three times. Not like, hey, Jeff, 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 Jeff. Not like that. Not Jeff, 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 Jeff. But you say, you say Jeff. Oh, hi, my name is Milt. What's your name? Jeff. Oh, Jeff, nice to meet you. I like your shirt. Going back to the compliment, right? Or are you new around here? Asking a question. Are you new right here, Jeff? You're asking a question, but you're repeating the name at least three times. And then associate the name with something that's familiar to you. So if you're a 49er fan and you have a player on your team, um, on the 49ers football team that starts with the first name, Jeff, you can always remember, hey, Jeff. Oh, yeah, I remember Jeff. Or Jeff over here plays for the 49ers. I, that's how I remember you. And then associate, anchor it with someone else, something else, and something you've done. So maybe you can you guys have something in common. Maybe you drink coffee. He's That person likes coffee, and Jeff likes coffee. So you know Jeff from the 49ers, and he likes coffee. So when you see Jeff again, if you can't remember the name, the trigger is coffee, 49ers, Jeff. Jeff, how you doing? Um these are ways and tips and tricks to help you connect easily with people because when you connect with people, you build your network and your network creates an influence and influence allows you to be able to do some amazing things in life and opens up doors for you as well down the road. Hope this helps you today, maximizers. Learn to connect with people using these four simple tips and tricks. Let me know how this works for you. Respond back. I love your feedback. I want to hear from you. Hope this helps you maximize the moments today with other people. God bless. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.